Week 9 football action in the Macomb Area Conference as your Utica Chieftains travel to Sterling Heights to face off with the Stevenson Titans on Senior Night. Jerome Cooper will get the scoring started in the first quarter for the Titans as he takes the direct snap up the middle, dives, and scores the game's first touchdown. The extra point is good, and Stevenson would take a 7 to nothing lead. Utica would answer in the second quarter as Leonard Kaysen takes the handoff up the middle and forces his way in for a Chieftains touchdown. The extra point is good, and the Chieftains would tie the game at 7 before the half. Now in the fourth quarter, Kayvon Higdon takes the handoff on the end around, and Higdon gets outside, cuts up field, turns on the Jets, and goes untouched all the way in for a Chieftains touchdown. The extra point is good, and Utica would take a 14-7 lead. This time, the Titans would respond as quarterback Todd Poppard throws this rainbow to Jai Hinson in the corner of the end zone, and Hinson makes the catch for a Stevenson touchdown. The extra point is good, and the Titans tie the game at 14. On the ensuing drive, Patrick O'Connor steps back to pass, throws the screen pass over the head of Ryan Ayers, and it is picked off by Angelo Essek, and Essek takes it all the way in for a Titans touchdown. The extra point is good, and Stevenson would take a 21-14 lead. But the Chieftains wouldn't give up as Ryan Ayers takes this handoff in for a Utica touchdown. The Chieftains would go for two and the win using this well-designed trick play, and they would convert, taking a 22-21 lead with less than a minute to go. The Titans would get one last chance to win the game off the last second field goal, but Todd Poppard would miss wide right, and the Chieftains would go on to win by the score of 22 to 21. That might have been one of the craziest endings I've seen in a football game. Talk about the decision to go for two at the end. Uh, you know, we, we talked about it earlier today and, and leading up to it. We knew we had a, a two-point play that we were really confident in, and uh, you know, the the way the game was going, and we the the it was presented to us that we could uh, use it, and we were really confident. We knew all, all that whole drive that that's what we were going to do. And we, we wanted to go for the win, and we, we felt good about it. And talk about Patrick O'Connor. You know, you guys, the, guy, the game got tied. He comes back out, throws an INT, pick six. What about his confidence to come back out and lead that game with him drive? Yeah, I mean, he's, uh, you know, he's one of our senior leaders, and he, he's made up a lot of plays like that in his career. And, you know, we talked about it on the sideline when he came off, and we, we, we got the offense together, and we said we got to go right back out. We had to score anyways, so so that uh, seven points they got, it, it was tough and a little bit of adversity, but well, we knew we had to overcome it, and uh, he drove us down and was a big leader for us. And talk about Kayvon's play. He seemed to be all over the field on offense and defense. Uh, he made a lot of big plays. Yeah, I mean, he's... He's a playmaker for us. He, he does a lot, both offensively and defensively. We try and uh, you know move him around on both sides of the ball, put him in different spots because we know he's he's going to be aggressive and he's going to he's going to make some plays. So you know we, we expect that from him. He's a big playmaker and he's going to have a uh, you know we're excited for a senior season. And did you have a message for the seniors before or after the game as far as get uh, you know? Ending the season on a strong note. I mean, we just talked about how, you know, how big of a game it was and, and, and how big it was for them because, uh, you know, being their last game and being against Stevenson, it's just it's just a huge game for them. We wanted to enjoy it and, uh, you know, go off on a great note. And last question, I heard you in the post game say that this is a huge program win for Utica. Um, talk about how this is going to be good for you guys going forward in the future season. Yeah, I mean, it's it's we, we talked about that. It's been a long time since since Utica beat Stevenson, so that was a big win for us, and it gave us a lot of momentum going into the off season. So, you know, we hope we can draw off that momentum and uh, and keep things going, keep building to, towards what we want to do in our goals.